What? No! Hello everybody, not sure if you watched my reviews for Dunkirk and Baby Driver, but as I said in the beginning of the other ones, I am back to doing reviews. I'm trying to catch up on my 2017 movies that I have not reviewed yet. I'm just kind of probably going to do the most recent ones and then move backwards just because the more recent ones are probably a bit more in demand than me reviewing the Lego Batman movie. But next up we have Spider-Man Homecoming, directed by John Watts, I believe, uh, starring Tom Holland, the latest Spider-Man movie to be in the MCU. Um, considering that it's been a long time since I've posted, um, yeah, I'm a very big fan of the MCU and I'm a very big fan of the Spider-Man character. So I had relatively high expectations, but I wasn't sure what to expect just because of all the weird Sony stuff and just the many things. But I had a really good time with this movie. It's not quite the amazing out-of-bounds knock in the park that everybody seems to think it is, I would say. It's probably... It's funny. It's fun. But it doesn't have, I would say, that extra oomph that gives some of the MCU movies like Guardians or Winter Soldier that wow factor that makes them so, so good. So it's, I'd say it's teetering on the edge. It's, I liked it about as much as I like Doctor Strange, if that helps at all. But I'd say biggest pluses with this movie. Tom Holland is fantastic. He is by far the best Peter Parker that we've ever had. He is just pitch perfect for the part and he has great comic timing and he just really sells it, especially even the emotional moments towards the end. The script does take some new directions that people might not expect necessarily, like he he is far from the developed superhero that we've seen in basically every other MCU movie. He gets knocked on his ass a lot, and yeah, that is kind of, one of the, also one of the most interesting parts, is that he's struggling, and there are pretty obvious, almost beating, beating you over the head with the theme of him needing to like learn responsibility and that he's not necessarily ready for um, being an Avenger or whatever. And that theme is interesting. It's very, it's, we haven't really explored it in a movie like this before, even though we have the With Great Power Comes Great Responsibility line. It's, I don't think it's been effectively hit. And they did it here, I think a bit too much. Like some of the Iron Man stuff was a bit on the nose, but it was interesting theme that they really got across well. I liked the choice to just keep it simple, and they ignored the stuff that we've seen hundreds of times, Uncle Ben, Great Power, um, him getting bitten, which was good. Um, the Marissa Tomei as Aunt May, I'm still a little bit uh, skeptical about. She was good, but it didn't feel like Aunt May to me. As a big Spider-Man fan, it just felt like, almost like a babysitter or a nanny. Um, his friend, I forget his name, it's been a while since I saw the movie, was, he, I didn't think he necessarily landed his jokes. I think my biggest problem with this movie as a whole is that at times it has a very odd sense of pacing. It's a little bit long and it doesn't have the rhythm and this even comes into on a more like micro scale with jokes. Like John Watts is not the most experienced director and so some of the jokes just come across as odd or just out of place and even if they're funny, you're kind of like, oh, that just it just hits you a bit wrong. And so it's not, at least with, in my opinion. But that being said, I laughed a lot more than I do in most superhero movies. And um, it's a very fun time. Michael Keaton is an excellent villain as um, Tombs the Vulture. Uh, there's a great twist with him later on. And I think he's, pro he's easily one of the upper tier MCU villains. He has really... He felt like a threat, but he also didn't feel like a cartoony, like, Ronin or Malekith. I think that was his name. Who remembers Thor The Dark World? I know I don't. So, all in all, I would say Spider-Man is a very good time. It's a very great take on the character. It's an interesting story, if nothing revolutionary. But, um, it's good for Spider-Man fans. There's some good nods in there, and... It's enjoyable. I think there's room for improvement, but I have the feeling that they'll get there. I think they just had a lot to deal with with this movie, and they more or less pulled it off very, very well. So I would give Spider-Man Homecoming an A-. Um, yeah, sounds about right to me. And I came up with it. I don't... I'm really bad at ending videos. 